Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to day three of my five days of DIYs, our bathroom DIYs and makeover. My name is Tawanda and this is Tawanda's Blessed Life. And on my channel, I do decorate on a budget, DIYs and hauls with a sprinkle of migraine enlightenment. I also do lifestyle and sister lock updates. And so we're going to go ahead and get started with today's video. I am so excited because we and officially today's have video lights. is going to be of me doing a couple of little DIYs for our bathroom. Um, I know I said before that I was gonna be doing some, we were doing some remodeling in our bathroom. This is our guest bath. It also has a laundry room inside of it. Um, we had a leak last year. And so actually the end of, I can't remember, last year I believe, or the year before that, I can't remember. It was at the end of the year. Um, but, um, so we've been slowly remodeling the bathroom and, um, so I went ahead and picked up these mirrors. I picked up two of them. I got them from Target. I think they were 60 a piece. I could be wrong. I'll have to look it up and find out for sure. And I'll just put the price on the, um, somewhere on the screen. And then I picked this up. Um, those this light they didn't have it in black it's in bronze so I also ended up picking up some spray paint I got semi gloss this is all they had so I'll go ahead and give it a couple coats of that and this is what it looks like before I take it out to spray paint it which is really cute it did not come with the lamps or the shades which was fine because originally we were going to keep the light that's already in the bathroom and just move it but then my husband decided he wanted um something different so um and i had already ordered shades to go up there which are these which are really pretty and these are really good um this one so this is what we'll be putting in these since we already had we already had three so i had to order two more and i got these from walmart they were like six or seven dollars a piece and then this was i can't remember how much i paid for this i think it was like 40 something it was on sale plus i got my military discount so um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get this spray painted and then hopefully um tomorrow we can get it put up so we're gonna go ahead and get started with um me spray painting this and then I may do a couple other little things for the bathroom. Um, I don't know, we'll see how this goes. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are about two or three weeks um, later from when I went ahead and DIY'd the, um, the light fixture that we we're going to put up. I'll go ahead and get the camera switched around so that you can see what I am talking about. Um, so yeah, this is the light fixture that I it's a little dirty that I picked up from Lowe's and um I went ahead and spray painted it with the um some with the semi gloss black paint excuse our countertop here it is a little bit messy um my husband had to call in for some reinforcements so here you can see this is where we took the light out and we thought that we would be able to um let me just kind of move this so you can see what i'm doing here so um so we thought that we would just be able to move the wiring over from here to here 
that's not going to happen. So my husband has someone coming over to help him fix that. So um, I had to go pick up a couple of things from Home Depot yesterday when I left work. It's been a rough week, y'all. It's been a rough week. Um, I'm going to have another video about um, how my month of April went. I'm going to start putting out a couple of videos every so many months um, about my progress with my migraines and how things are going. But so my husband's co-worker asked us to pick up a couple of items to be able to um, put the new light fixture up. So I had to pick up two of these. Um, I don't really know what they're called, but I'll put them in the description. I'm not an electrician, so I'm really not. Um, I don't know. And then some electrical tape. And a couple of these um, conductors. So we needed the ones with the three, I believe is what he wanted. I think that's right. And then also some um, copper building wire is what I picked up. And this little roll here um, is 15 feet, costs $31 and some change. So those are the things that I went ahead and picked up to um, be able to get that light fixture up. So that is what I, that's what the plan is for today. But this is what it's looking like. And so he said that today he's gonna go ahead and get it all sanded flat and that we should have, um, we should have the lights put up today. So that is exciting news. So I can't wait to have that complete. And we did not start on the, um, on the shower yet. But I went ahead and um, patched some of the holes that were in the door. I'm going to go ahead and sand that down. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the, um, the door in the trim. So this door here hasn't been painted yet. This door was painted. But like I said, when I did paint it, um, it rained also that day. So I'm going to have to give it another coat of paint. So I'm going to tr give the trim and the door, a coat of paint, and all of the painting in here should be done, but I can't wait to have this light put up, so um, I'll be back. And we officially have lights. It looks so good. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to um, building a frame for the mirrors and the for the mirror in the bathroom. Earlier in the video, I showed you two mirrors that I purchased from Target, and my husband decided that um, he um, did not want to use those mirrors. So he wanted to go back and just use the old mirror because it's larger and he was used to using that mirror. Um, so here we are building a frame for it. We went ahead and cut the pieces of wood. And these, the wood came from, um, the trim pieces came from Lowe's. And then this is our old mirror. It was like 90 inches long. So we're gonna cut it down to, I believe we cut it down to 53 inches. So here my husband is cutting the mirror and then we're going to um, place it, we're going to attach it back to the wall with the um, brackets that came off. And then once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and start working on the frame and putting it together. We're just going to um, use some of the tight bond wood glue and a couple of staples on the back and that's how we're going to attach the frame together and then we will attach it by using attach the frame to the mirror by using one of those um hangman strips or hangers and we'll show you that coming up here pretty um pretty shortly here so now that we have the mirror up and the frame is complete 
So I'll go ahead and just show you the frame. Like I said, we put it together using some of the Titebond wood glue and we clamped it together. And then we also attached a couple of staples just to make sure that it was completely, um, make sure that it was sturdy. And then um, once it dried the next day, I went ahead and gave it two coats of white paint. And then we went ahead and attached it, like I said, with the um, hangman um, hangers. And um, we, we went ahead and screwed it onto one of the pieces attached to the wall and then the other piece attaches to the back of the frame. So here are the pieces here. And this is what I use for most of my large um, framed artwork pieces, the ones that are heavier than usual. I will go ahead and I attach these to all of those, including my mirrors. It just makes it easier for me to be able to switch out um, artwork too in my home if I want to change out my mirrors I just have one of these attached to the back and I just take one off and add the other one so here I'm just showing you the mirror and here I'm just showing you how um, we are going to attach everything so like I said we'll attach one to the back of the wall one to the wall and one to the back of the frame and then you just slide them over and then we also added a little bit of um, liquid nail to um, the two corners at the bottom of the frame and we um, let it sit overnight and then we removed the um, we used my husband's weights to hold it against the mirror and that was it for that project and then now here we are I'm just showing you these are the um, knobs that actually came with the cabinets when we purchased them so we're going to go ahead and add those to the cabinets i will say i'm going to uh, um, put a picture of a knob on somewhere here on the screen that um, i've had for over 20 years and i think we may switch them to that i'll go ahead and just uh, put a picture of that so you can see it and let me know um, which one that you think looks better but um, as of now this is what our um, bathroom is currently looking like and i am loving it so much so here I'm just moving those weights and that is going to be all of the projects that we'll be doing for today. And um, I can't wait for you to see what um, tomorrow's project looks like. So that is it. So let me know um, what you think. And I would just like to thank you all for spending part of your day with me. And if you like what I'm doing, please like, share and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And like I always say, be nicer, be kinder. God will love you for it. And I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you next. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.